earlier i posted an overview about uh, halitosis or bad breath i hope you have seen that video this video of mine is a detailed video about halitosis okay let's start this video bad breath also called halitosis can be embarrassing and in some cases may even cause anxiety it is no wonder that store shelves are overflowing with gum mints mouthwashes and other products designed to fight bad breath but many of these products are only temporary measure because they do not address the cause of the problem certain foods health condition and habits are among the causes of bad breath in many cases you can improve bad breath with consistent proper dental hygiene if simple self care techniques do not solve the problem see your dentist or physician to be sure a more serious condition is not causing your bad breath now let me tell you the symptoms bad breath odors vary depending on the source or the underlying cause some people worry too much about their breath even though they have little or no mouth odor while others have bad breath and they even don't know it because it is difficult to assess how your own breath smells ask a close friend or relative to confirm your bad breath questions If you have bad breath or review your oral hygiene habits try making lifestyle changes such as brushing your teeth and tongue after eating using dental floss and drinking plenty of water if your bad breath persists after making such changes see your dentist if your dentist suspects a more serious condition is causing your bad breath he or she may refer you to a physician to find the cause of the odor now let me tell you the causes Most bad breath starts in your mouth and there are many possible causes which include food the breakdown of food particles in and around your teeth can increase bacteria and cause a foul odor eating certain foods such as onions garlic and spices also can cause bad breath after you digest these food they enter your blood stream and are carried to your lungs and affect your breath tobacco products Smoking causes its own unpleasant mouth odor. Smokers and oral tobacco users are also more likely to have gum disease, which is another source of bad breath. Poor dental hygiene. If you do not brush and floss daily, food particles remain in your mouth, causing bad breath. A colorless, sticky film of bacteria, which is known as plaque, forms on your teeth. If not brushed away, plaque can irritate your gums and eventually form plaque-filled pockets between your teeth and gums. which is known as periodontitis your tongue also can trap bacteria that produce odors dentures that are not cleaned regularly or do not fit properly can harbor odor causing bacteria and food particles dry mouth saliva helps to clean your mouth removing particles and that cause uh, bad odors a condition called uh, dry mouth or xerostomia can contribute to bad breath because production of saliva is decreased Dry mouth naturally occurs during sleep, leading to morning breath, and it worsens if you sleep with your mouth open. Chronic dry mouth can be caused by a problem with your salivary glands and some diseases. Medications. Some medications can indirectly produce bad breath by contributing to dry mouth. Others can be broken down in the body to release chemicals that can be carried on your breath. Infections in your mouth. Bad breath can be caused by surgical wounds after oral surgery such as tooth removal or as a result of tooth decay, gum disease or mouth sores. Other mouth, nose and uh, throat condition, bad breath can occasionally stem from small stones that form in the tonsil and are covered with bacteria that produce odor. Well, on my channel I have also uploaded a video uh, about tonsillitis which is very helpful. Please see that video, okay? Infections or chronic inflammation in the nose, sinuses, or throat, which can contribute to post-nasal drip, can also cause bad breath. There are some other causes: and diseases such as some cancers and conditions such as metabolic disorders can cause a distinct, distinctive breath odor as a result of chemicals they produce. Chronic reflux of stomach acid, which is known as gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD, can be associated with bad breath. Bad breath in young children can be caused by foreign body such as a piece of food lodged in a nostril now i'll tell you uh, about the diagnosis your dentist will likely smell both the breath uh, from your mouth and the breath from your nose and uh, rate the odor on a scale 
because the back of the tongue is most often the source of the smell your dentist may also scrape it and read its odor there are sophisticated detectors that can identify the chemicals responsible for bad breath though these are not always available now let me tell you the treatment to reduce bad breath help avoid cavities and lower your risk of gum disease consistently practice good oral hygiene further treatment for bad breath can vary depending on the cause if your bad breath is thought to be caused by an underlying health condition your dentist will likely refer you to your primary care provider for causes related to oral health your dentist will work with you to help you better control that condition dental measures may include mouth rinses and toothpaste if if your bad breath is due to a built up of bacteria that is plaque on your tooth you, your dentist may recommend a mouth rinse that kills the bacteria your dentist may also recommend a toothpaste that contains an antibacterial agent to kill the bacteria that cause plaque build up treatment of dental disease if you have gum disease you may be referred to a gum specialist a periodontist a gum disease can cause gums to pull away from your teeth leaving deep pockets that fill with odor causing bacteria sometimes only professional cleaning removes these bacteria your dentist might also recommend replacing faulty tooth restorations which is a breeding ground for bacteria now let me tell you the, uh, some lifestyle and home remedies which are very important so please listen to this very very carefully to reduce or prevent bad breath you should brush your teeth after you eat keep a toothbrush at work to use after eating brush using a fluoride containing toothpaste at least twice a day especially after meals toothpaste with antibacterial properties has been shown to reduce bad breath odors you should floss at least once a day proper flossing removes food particles and plaque from between your teeth helping to control bad breath brush your tongue your tongue harbors bacteria so carefully brushing it may reduce odors people who have a coated tongue from a significant overgrowth of bacteria from smoking or dry mouth for example may benefit from using a tongue scraper or use a toothbrush that has a built-in tongue cleaner clean dentures or dent- uh, dental applications if you wear a bridge or, dent- or a denture clean it thoroughly at least once a day or as directed by your dentist if you have a dental retainer or mouth guard clean it each time before you put it in your mouth your dentist can recommend the best cleaning product you should avoid dry mouth to keep your mouth moist avoid tobacco and drink plenty of water uh, not coffee soft drinks alcohol, alcohol which can lead to a drier mouth i mean some people think that uh, there is a water in uh, this uh, alcohol and soft drinks and they keep on taking this these things and coffee also but these are not helpful because coffee soft drinks and alcohol actually cause dry mouth okay chew, chew, chewing gum or suck uh, chew, chew gum or suck and candy preferably sugarless to stimulate saliva for a chronic dry mouth your dentist or physician may prescribe an artificial saliva preparation or an oral medication that stimulates the flow of saliva you should adjust your diet avoid foods such as onions and garlic that can cause bad breath eating a lot of sugary f- foods is also linked with bad breath regularly get a new toothbrush change your toothbrush when it becomes frayed about every 3 to 4 months and choose a soft bristle toothbrush also you should schedule regular dental checkups uh, see your dentist on a regular basis generally twice a year to have your teeth or dentures examined and cleaned well uh, this was my video about breath, bad breath or halitosis i hope you find it very useful and uh, uh, if you if you suffer from bad breath or halitosis please uh, post your comment in, in this video uh, or even if you are suffering from any other illness please post a comment and i will try to make a video uh, about your illness provided if i get a time and if i do not find a time i will uh, i'll try to reply to your comment as soon as possible because i reply to almost every comment on my channel okay and till now if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe it now and click the bell icon so that all upcoming videos are delivered to your inbox straight away 
and if, if you think that my video provides some sort of benefit even if it is a little benefit then please give a thumbs up to this video because that will give me encouragement to produce more useful videos such as this one and also because this channel of mine is basically meant to help humanity across the world so please do not forget to share my videos uh, to your family and friends and also if possible please share my videos uh, on social media such as facebook and twitter because if you share my videos uh, you will be also part of this great initiative of helping humanity across the world thank you so much for watching this video see you in next video bye for now